Well, welcome to the vlog today, guys. Um, I did not vlog yesterday. It was just a full day of just family time, and we just hung out, um, went over to Christina's parents' house and celebrated Michael and uh, her sister's birthday, and just, it was just family day is all it was. So, um, didn't vlog yesterday, kept that stuff off camera. Um, really enjoyed it though, it was a lot of fun, had a great time, um, but yeah, it was good. So, but we're gonna start the vlog today with a present. Yes, a present. Now, um, just a little caveat, I am extremely spoiled at work and I know this. So, um, <laughs> you know, so here's my present. Check this out. Ooh. Two brand new five ultra fine LG HD 5K monitors. Pretty. So, what that is going to do is replace that setup right there. So, I'm going to probably lose that the monitor on the actual display of the laptop because I'll have the two LGs and then I'll lose the Apple display here which is like only 2k I think 2.1k um, same size it's 27 inch this one's 27 and so are the LGs so I will have two 27 inch LGs right here and then I'll probably, you know, lay the uh, laptop with the lid closed down on the desk right there. So that is, uh, that's what's getting ready to be replaced right now. I'm going to shut down uh, my computer. I'm going to unplug everything and I'm going to unbox those bad boys and hook them up. See how they look. So, um, first impression, they're built really well. Um, nice metal bases, um, nice and smooth to the touch. The frames are, you know, they're, they're just plastic, but they're really, really nice, real smooth. Um, the actual display itself, um, the camera on this iPhone doesn't do them justice. They are gorgeous. Um, definitely, First impression, nice and clean. Um, I'm really, really impressed with the integration with the laptop is pretty much seamless. Um, there is a downside, I will say, that with the two monitors, if you look, I have one monitor plugged in and then power to the laptop for charging. And then the other monitors plugged in here and then this is a um, Thunderbolt 2 connection into here that goes directly to one of our media servers that has all of our stuff on it here at work. So unfortunately, I am packed full on my four on the laptop. That said, I will say this though. I have heard some rumors online that say um, well, not really rumors, but a lot of people complaining about these LG monitors. They didn't have enough plugs in the back. I'm an extreme case, but I have two monitors, so it's a little bit better. However, they're on the back here. As you can see, 
right there. It's kind of hard to see. Power is here. This is where one of the displays is plugged in. And I have three more USB-C. Same thing over there on the other side. I've got three more on that one as well. So all of them, um, so really I've got six more ports that I can use uh, for any peripheral type stuff if I wanted to, if I did want to um, plug in an external hard drive or, um, you know, just any connectivity, plug in my iPad, whatever the case, I can, I can plug stuff in still, so, which is good. Um, but I, I'm going to give this thing a couple of days, I'm going to check them out, but I have to say that I'm extremely impressed with these new monitors. They are gorgeous. Uh, if you're thinking about getting one, they are a little on the pricey side. They're about actually the same price as the old Apple uh, Thunderbolt displays were. And so I will leave a link in the comments below to the, um, to the link to the Apple site where you can order them from Apple. Uh, as well as, I don't know if you can on Amazon, but if you can, there will be a link in there to the Amazon as well. So go check them out. They're really, really nice monitors. Um, I, I, I don't think I would be able to afford to buy one myself. I am a little spoiled here at work, just, just a little bit, which is why I got the two of them. So um, I'm pretty excited. They're, they're really, really, really nice monitors. So uh, I'm going to play with them for a little bit. I'll keep you guys posted on how I like them throughout the week and uh, have some fun. So just a couple more thoughts. I've played with them a little bit. Um, one thing for sure, they are a lot lighter than the Thunderbolt displays used to be. Um, quite a bit thinner too. So obviously there's not a, all that aluminum and all that, but uh, a lot lighter. Also, they have quite a bit of adjustment um, they go up quite a ways, so right now I have mine set pretty low, um, just because that's optimum height for how I'm sitting. But I mean, they'll move quite a bit. I mean, they'll go up. That's a good four to six inches there. So they'll go up quite a ways, and then there's even, um, and, and they move without a whole lot of effort. It's it's pretty smooth. But then they also have a little bit of an adjustment from side to side. So they can go, you know, they can go a little crooked in case you you go to hang your hang them on the wall and your bracket's a little crooked, so you can make it, make some small adjustments there. Um, but I like having mine nice and close together and at that height right there, so it's good. Um, in the accessories pack that I unboxed that you saw um, with all of the booklets and stuff, there's an actual metal bracket you can attach to the wall that will uh, will actually go right back here and you can take this little clip off right here and it'll attach you can attach that bracket directly to the wall so um, th that is an option you can hang them on the wall and I have seen some people on online uh, doing their reviews where they've actually hung them on the wall above their desk and it looks really good but for me, I don't have that luxury because I've just got open space back there. So, um, so yeah, so far so good. Really, really impressed with these monitors. They look snazzy. Love them. Well, done with my day today. Um, I do have to say, I know I said it a couple times already, those monitors are amazing. Used them pretty much the majority of the uh, latter half of the day. And I gotta say, they're gorgeous. The picture quality is great. My eyes felt really good. They weren't too strained. Um, and also, I had mentioned that the one downside was is I lost all four uh, USB-C ports on my laptop. But after doing a little bit of research, I was able to free up one of them uh, because the monitor actually sends enough power through the USB-C cable to keep the laptop charged, which is fantastic. It works out great. Um, I also tried to daisy chain the monitors together and then just have basically have one USB-C to one monitor and then just another USB-C cable from a monitor to another monitor 
because you could do that with the Apple Thunderbolt displays, but with these two LGs, it will not allow you to do that. So unfortunately, I couldn't free up a second spot um, for that purpose, which is okay. It's really not that big a deal um, because, I mean, as I'd mentioned before, I've got six more USB-C ports, three on the back of each one, so I've got more than enough room if I need to plug anything in. So all in all, I loved them. Um, I am on my way to class. So I gotta go teach tonight. Well, I finished class. It was good class. I uh, got through all the material that I needed to get through, which is great. Uh, sets me up really nice uh, to get the guys through this first module on time. So we did fall a little bit behind because we had some paperwork issues on the first night of class. So um, just kinda, you know, it was one of those things. So we got all that taken care of. So, I, uh, I follow a couple of different YouTubers um, that do daily vlogs uh, on, on YouTube a lot and well one of them doesn't do daily vlogs anymore he just quit but um, you guys know that I, I do follow Casey Neistat and then uh, also uh, Roman Atwood the, the smile more guy um, sorry for the color it's like it's just it's dark and I don't you know have any other opportunity uh, so I follow both of those Roman Atwood is a very very positive person he just he uh, he just wants to encourage everybody wants everybody to you know go out and do stuff and things like that so it's 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 a good refreshing thing but I have watched a couple of Casey's videos recently and one of the ones that he talks about in one of his videos is the forced positive attitude and you know unfortunately in today's age with social media and Instagram and Facebook and all this stuff you have the opportunity to really go out of your way to present yourself as having have just having it all together a perfect life and that's really not the case in almost all the cases everybody's got issues everybody's got things going on and so Casey's talking about this whole concept of forced positive attitude like on YouTube with a lot of the daily vloggers and he got this whole concept from uh, another guy named PewDiePie probably one of the most followed uh, subscription based guys on YouTube 50 million subscribers or something like that even more than that maybe I think he's the only person with a Ruby play button but anyway the problem is that I want to make sure that I don't sound like I'm coming off like overly positive or forcing the positive attitude because I, I, I truly am not trying to. So if for any reason or any time it does feel forced to you guys, just write in the comments below, let me know. Let me know if it's like, okay, you're starting, you know, it's starting to get a little out of hand or anything like that. Um, because I'll, I'll be honest, it might come across that way because last year for me in particular and I would say my family um, we had a tough year it was tough we were you know we were scraping by trying to make ends meet things just weren't quite working out we've got you know we, we dealt with some with some stuff with uh, both Michael and AJ that really kind of you know it kind of it rocked us a little bit and, and so we didn't have a very good 2016 but 2017 is I know it's only you know two and a half weeks into the year but it's really looking good for us so I'm really excited so I want to share all that positive energy that I've got and, and motivate you guys as well so you know it's just make it a good year go out and just do it set some goals and make them small if you're nervous or if you haven't done something like that before make them a small goal you've heard me say it before wake up in the morning 
and make a little goal, just a small goal that you know you can accomplish if you put some effort into it by the end of the day. And then, the, and then when you wake up the next day, make one for a, a two-day goal, and then a, a week-long goal, and then a month-long goal. Start small, start incremental, and just make some goals and go out and accomplish some stuff. You'll start to gain some momentum. And you'll start setting some bigger goals and more ambitious goals until until at one point you're just you're you're just slaying it. You're knocking everything out of the park. That's what I want to try and do for you guys. I want to encourage you because I'm setting my goals, I'm hitting my goals, I'm excited, and I just I I want you guys to come along with me and I want to come along with you on your adventures and on your goals. So if you've set any new goals recently, down in the comments below, you know, tell me what they are. I'd love to have a conversation with you about it. So with that being said, I'm gonna end the vlog. I'm almost home and I am going to take a shower and I'm gonna crash because it has been a long day and it might be hard for me to crash because I'm kind of pumped up from being in class. So uh, it might take me a little while. <laughs> but anyway, have a great week, guys. It's Monday. If Whenever you're watching this, when I'm recording it, it's Monday night. Um, it's Monday. It's the start of a week. Don't have a case of the Mondays. Throw that, throw that whole concept out of the water. Start thinking of Mondays as a good day because that's the first day of a week. You get to sit down and you get to set your weekly goals. You get to get down, get down there in the nitty gritty and you get to, you get to try and accomplish something this week. That's what I started doing and I tell you what, my week's changed for the better. So go out there, set some goals, accomplish something, and just go try it. 